A friend of mine found a couple of guitars while he was cleaning out a storage unit that his father-in-law owns, and he basically gave them to me because I'm the only one he knows who might want to mess with them. So uh, I'm going to show them to you. I've already kind of wiped them off a little bit. They were really kind of grimy and dusty and gross, and they're still pretty gross. But uh, I know this isn't a 59 Les Paul or something like that, but he just found these guitars, and this is a couple of kind of cheap Ibanezes. But I thought it might be cool to clean them up a little bit. I might actually strip the finish off of one of them. So I just wanted to show them to you today, and uh, I'll be kind of working on them as I go.
I did a little research and found out that this green guitar is an Ibanez RX240. It looks like it was Mediterranean green and it looks like it was built in Korea by Court Guitars for Ibanez uh, in August of 1995. Uh, originally it had a humbucker and two single coils. Somebody has definitely removed the two single coils. I'm not sure if this humbucker is original or if it's been added at some other point. But this guitar has seen better days. And it looks like before somebody crapped all over this thing for 20 years, it, it was a pretty guitar. I'm not real sure what is all over it. It looks like maybe nail polish or some sort of paint, uh, model paint or something. I don't know if I'll end up trying to strip off all the finish off this guitar. Uh, I'm going to try first to see if I can remove a little bit of the, the grime. And then I went to the dollar store after work and I got three different types of nail polish remover. I got acetone. Uh, I got nail polish remover for like home use, which has acetone in it, but it's not pure acetone. And then I got a non-acetone polish remover. So I'm going to try the gentlest one first and work my way up to the pure acetone. I think if I get to the 100% acetone, I'm going to ruin the finish. So hopefully I can get this stuff off before getting all the way to that point. But it is what it is. If I have to strip it down and refinish the guitar then I'll have to make some decisions about whether or not I want to try to tackle that or if I want to take it to somebody I know who definitely has more skills than I do in that regard. But for now I'm just going to get it stripped down and clean it up and see what we're working with.